Haven't you done enough damage? I've gotta go. So long. Hey, you. Do you want to cause... Hey, you! Everything all right? Yes, I'm fine. That Alvarez has become bolder and bolder lately. Good thing that's over now. What I could use now is a good drop in the tavern. You hang out in the tavern? That's right, but not recently. I cannot afford going there anymore. What exactly is going on there in the tavern? There's gambling there. Two fellows compete against each other. Whoever can hold the most beer wins. In the end, I did nothing but lose, and now I need to make some more money first. You're not from around here, right? I come from the Southern Isles. At some point they said they needed people in Corinnus because of that magic ore. But when I got there, they had this huge barrier in place, and I didn't want to go in there, so I started working in the harbor. Well, the ship stopped coming in, and so I went to work for Akil. I've had worse jobs, actually. Who did you go up against? Against Rukar, that old good-for-nothing. So far, he's beaten me every time. But somehow I have the creeping suspicion that the filthy swine has laced my beer with gin every time. I suspect he keeps the gin hidden in that damn chest of his, that lousy scumbag. Somebody ought to sneak some plain water into his chest. Then he could lace my beer all he wants. If I only had enough money to compete against him one more time. You should have known that. He thinks it's as easy as that. You are not that. That's no secret. It had to happen sooner. That's exactly what I said. I'll never get this open without the right key. That will never change. Thank you. 
was no big deal. That's really not my problem. That will never change. Is the beer any good here? It's not exactly the best, but in these bleak times, you can't be choosy. What are you doing here? Up until a few weeks ago, I was slaving away on the landowner's field. One day, it just got too much for me, and I took myself out of there straight away. Now, I'm my own boss. Everything I own is in this chest here. That's all I need, too. Interested in a little contest? He really should have known better. What kind of a contest would that be? I call it bottoms up. The rules are quite simple. We take turns ordering a tankard of the best beer the old geezer has to offer. Every tankard has to be drunk dry so that it doesn't even leave a ring if you set it on the table upside down. The last man standing wins. The loser pays the tab and the stake. Well, how about it? Maybe some other time, when I'm not in a hurry. I've gone about it differently. Did anything else of interest happen? Not that I know of. Nobody tells me anything. He doesn't see that. I can't help it. Could I bet on someone else, though? Certainly. If you finally manage to find someone with the guts to go up against me, then I'll bet with you. Everybody pays the same amount into a pot. The winner gets everything. The size of the stake depends on your purse. Bring me someone who dares to go up against me and you've got a bet. I never knew that. That was no big deal. You hardly know who to believe these days. Is it really true? I've got no time for things like that. That doesn't surprise me. I couldn't get away with that. Who are you? I'm Orlan, the keeper of this here modest tavern. What are you looking for, stranger? Maybe a decent sword or a, a good piece of armor? A good swag from the country stills or uh, just some information? I can give you all that and more if your coins ring. What kind of armor can you offer me? I have here a very nice piece that is sure to please you. Been there, done that. I'll think about it. As you like. But don't wait too long. And that's the truth. How's it going with your tavern? Times have been better, you know? People's purses aren't as open as they used to be. He doesn't see that. Show me your wares. Certainly, brother of the ring. I never knew that. No idea, you tell me. I'm no better off myself. Am I being paranoid, or are you staring at my ring? Well, I, I'm not quite sure what to make of that. Insisted he knew better. It's an aquamarine. No Ever seen one before? Yes, I have. That was obvious. Oh, welcome to headquarters, brother of the ring. What can I do for you? you? Have you ever used a teleporter stone? Are you out of your mind? That was no big as long deal. as none of the water mages swear to me that there's no danger. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere near those things. They ordered me to hide one of those teleporter stones and Apart from that, I'm staying well away from them. You know who to believe these days. Where is this teleporter stone? There's a cave to the south, not far from my tavern. That's where the water mages found one of those things. Can I have a look at this teleporter stone? I don't care. Here's the key. No, oh, I've blocked the entrance. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Look oh, who's just that. turned up. The farmer boy. You're just in time. Who are you anyway? That's none of your business. If I wanted to tell you who I am, I'd have done it already. Got it? Sooner or later. What do you want from me? Are you still having problems with the city guards? 
I'll give you problems, you punk. I'm looking for a fellow. He isn't anywhere to be found in the city, and these losers here don't have a clue either. He's thin, dark-haired, and he usually wears red armor. As far as I know, he used to be a prisoner in the colony. I think his name starts with a D. Is his name maybe Dexter? It could be that that's his that's name. No I'm not sure. I probably only know when I see him. That's Anything else? Yeah, you big mouth. Is there something else? Yeah, I need weapons, I need provisions, and gold wouldn't be bad either. You hardly know who to believe these days. And that's the truth. Didn't you find a weapons dealer in the city? You can't be serious. They only you have junk. Provisions? You're in a tavern. The stupid barman won't hand anything over I'm unless you pay myself. him for it. I've got no time for things like Here's that. ten gold coins. <laughs> you poor son. Of that you can keep your dough. I have a better idea. Who's There's a cave not far from here. I've been around here before and I buried my stuff in a few places. The cave is too dangerous for me alone. I want you to help all me with over it. Again. Is it really true? Let's visit the cave. Come with me. You just have to listen. You hardly know who to be these days. Been there, done that. There's another of those scum beasts. One less monster around. All right, friend. Here's the cave. And here's a pick for you. I buried the stuff somewhere in there. X marks the spot. What are you waiting for? Go inside and get the stuff. What about you, then? Someone has to guard our backs. And now, in you go.
One less monster. -er. I think I've found something. What took you so long? Found anything yet? Yes, I dug up a small bag of gold. Give it here. Here you are. Great, so they're still there. You're not all that useless after all. Okay, listen. I've buried even more, and I want you to get it for me. Let's see. There's an islet in the small lake with the two waterfalls. One of my caches should be there. There are two more spots where I buried something further up, in the high pastures. One spot is behind the farm up there, and the other one's next to the entrance to the pass by the waterfalls. There are stairs leading down from the fields of the farmer up there to those of the landowner. There's another cache in the hollow where the stairs end. I'll wait for you at the crossroads by the landowner's fields. Don't fail me, you'll regret that, Buster. insisted he knew better. Been there, done that. <laughs> I agree with you completely. Do you know that fellow with the eye patch? I've seen him here like before. A nasty piece of work. Back then, he moved into one of my upstairs rooms, along with a huge crate. He had to be constantly nagged about Nothing paying the rent for his room. And even then, he took his own sweet time about it. Then, one day, he vanished, just like that, would have thought along with the crate. Uh, I don't want anything to do no with the likes of him. To hear that. How much so do you I... charge for a room? For a brother of the ring? Nothing. There, Here's the key that. to the upper rooms. You pick one for yourself. Is it really true? I'm staying out of it.
nothing you can do about it. He thinks it's as easy as that. That's all just gossip. You just have to listen. That's been known a long time. You just have to listen. That was obvious all along. should have known better. That's not what I heard. Same old thing all over again. Will it ever change? That was no big deal. If he doesn't see that, I can't help him. It had to happen sooner or later. I could tell you. That's all just gossip. You don't have to tell me. Nobody will learn anything from me. It was his decision, wasn't it? <laughs> I agree with you completely. I couldn't get away with that. He never would have thought of that himself. It had to happen sooner or later. But no, he insisted he... Hey, you! Himself. I've got somebody who wants to compete against you. Who might that be? Randolph. Oh, Randolph the Braggart. All right, why no not? Send the wimp to me and the deal stands. You can pick him up again no more than two days later. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky and he'll be able to stand by then. How big is your bet? I agree with you completely. 100. That's what I like to hear. I'll take your bet and hold it until the contest is over, no all right? Here's my stake. All right. Don't take too long bringing Randolph here, you hear? That doesn't surprise me. No one really wants to hear that. How much money do you need for the contest? Ten gold coins. I'll give you the money to compete against Rukar. Really? Thank you so much. I'll repay you soon. If I win, I'll even fork out a little more than that. I'll be seeing you.
was a fine mess you got me into. Now I can play lookout for Rookar again. Why? As long as he's holding his little contest in there, it's better if no outsider learns about it. It's not good for business, you see. How's it going? Times have been bad. People's purses aren't as... Can't rely on that.
You're in for it now. Wait a minute. The teleporter stones seem to work nicely. You actually did it? You really went in? Yes. They obviously still work. Unbelievable. I have to look at this more closely later. Hey, you! What with? What with? Hey! I am supposed to find the lost parts of the ornament for Nefarious. What? That's unbelievable. You're involved again? Don't worry. I'll bring the things here. Oh, do you know at least what you're looking for? Nefarious gave me this map. Show me. Hmm. It is very dangerous in the big forest. You should not go alone. Look for someone to accompany you in Corinus. I do not want you eaten by monsters, and the ornament with you. Here is your map back. What sort of strange earthquakes are those? That is one of the puzzles I am trying to solve. The structure of magic is being disturbed somewhere behind these mountains. Quite obviously, someone is trying with all of his might to break a powerful magic. I fear it will not be long before the entire island is plagued by these tremors. Vatras gave me this amulet of the searching will of the wisp. Ah, a rare artifact. You can use it to train the will of the wisp. Do you know that? Can you help me with that? Gladly. I've worked with the sort of magic for a long time. Show me how to train my Will of the Wisp. What should your Will of the Wisp search for?
Now your Will of the Wisp can find some more things that you can use. What should your found? It has been confirmed. The ancient culture did indeed believe in Adonos. to himself. I don't believe that. He can't keep anything to himself. their dispute, and he did not succeed. That's an open secret. That's not what my husband thinks. He thinks it's as easy as that. These are bad times. I brought the package. Well done. I'll see to it that I sell it. Come back tomorrow. I won't tell her a thing from now on. I need information. Hey! I think this piece of paper belongs to you. What? Let me see. Uh, okay, let's stay calm about this. Uh, listen, I have resold the goods I got from the bandits. But there's no reason to take this straight to the militia, right? I'm sure we can come to an understanding, can't we? I've got no time for things like that. Make me an offer, then. All right, I'll tell you something. I can sell you more than just fish. If you hand me this ridiculous piece of paper and uh, forget about the matter, uh, you and I can become the best of trading partners. In us enlightens all those who recognize his wisdom. Oh, really? What kind of goods would those be? Well, I could offer you uh, quite special fish. You see, not just plain ones for eating. You mean like the one that contained your hidden message? You've got it. I have several of those fish. All right, it's a deal. I think we can keep this little matter between ourselves. Thank you. Just drop in next time you happen to be in the vicinity. I'm bound to have some interesting things for you. Show me your fish.
off myself. Tell me that isn't true. That's not what I heard. You should really have known better. his decision, wasn't it? And it's going to get even worse. 